Today, the judge in the George Floyd case made three major decisions impacting the trial that's set to start in March. It includes keeping the trial itself in Hennepin County, having one trial instead of four, and sequestering the jury. Now, the judge explained the decisions in almost 80 pages worth of documents. Christian Cordero combed through those. I know that's a lot of information, Christian. Where do we start with this? Yeah, so we're going to focus in on those three uh, decisions, Suze. There is one more that we do need to get to. I'll get to it at the end, so just forget about it for now. Um, the three major ones, right, as you just heard Susan Elizabeth mention, we're going we're to start with a decision to keep it right here at Hennepin County Court. That was Judge Peter Cahill's decision, of course. The defendant's main concerns over moving the venue was over personal safety and prejudice from the jury pool available here where George Floyd died. On safety, the judge heard arguments that they've been verbally harassed. A protester was arrested with a gun at a previous hearing and ultimately said, OK, that's a safety planning issue and that's something that the sheriff is already working on. On prejudice, prejudice rather, there's precedent where a court decided that venue becomes less relevant once something is on the Internet. In other words, no part of Minnesota has been shielded from this case. Judge Cahill left the door open, though, for more evidence. He could change the venue even after a jury is sworn in. On to the jury itself. No names, no addresses. They will be partially sequestered during the trial. They'll park at a secure remote location and get escorted to and from court. Jurors will go home each day with the warning to avoid all media coverage. And during deliberation, it will be fully sequestered. The decision with the most information, though, was that of having one trial instead of four. The main reasons why. The charges and evidence match all four officers. All four officers agree on what happened on May 25th and the circumstances around it. Also, four trials means witnesses have to relive what happened four times. It would also mean uh, four separate verdicts in a city that's already on edge. That one other decision I mentioned, Judge Cahill is allowing audio and video during the trial. Uh, this is something defendants actually wanted, and Attorney General Keith Ellison, prosecutor in this case, did not want it. He said that he is evaluating that ruling, but otherwise said that uh, this, these decisions today were an important step for justice in this case. Susan, Elizabeth? Yeah, we don't usually see that here. Thank you so much.